Hello everyone and today we are going to learn how we can create like unique shapes for our container and you are not limited to this shapes that I've made you can create your own custom shapes and please ignore the design I just made it in a rush so you could see that the colors and all just look a bit weird the text and uh, all of this but this is just to showcase you how we can create these containers with our personal design now another thing I want you guys to know that this one does require Elementor Pro because we are using something called custom CSS because we have to use CSS to do or add this property which is clip part property. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, use the link from the description to get it and that way you could support me by using the links in the description. Now before we start, I want you guys to know that there are two methods to add these borders and the first method is a bit not not flexible enough like it would not work for every single clip path but the second method is like absolute and i prefer you guys to use it but i'll still show you the first method because it's like the easier method and the second one is uh, something that is like longer and also another thing is that we cannot simply just use the border property so we cannot just go in here and then add a border too and hope that it works so you, we cannot just add like a border because basically we are creating a mask and then hiding it so this still exists around here but it is uh, been hidden by a mask uh, which is like the clip path property so just remind just a reminder about that and that's why i'm creating this video to showcase how you can also add a border to this one so how about we get started first thing first you need to go to this website which is clippy and it just makes it easier to create these clip paths basically and yeah you could go and choose custom polygon but there are already some sites like this uh, designs like this so let's click custom polygon and basically we will create our own design so let's see if i want to create something like this let's see like this you could see i just created like a random uh, shape i click finish pentagon and once you click that you could move it around to like see what looks best for your design so let's just keep some random stuff like this and then i'm going to copy this clip path now to do this i'll basically uh, what you're simply going to do is add your add your container just the way you add normally so how about i just get a new container around here and add it Also, if you wish to learn how you can add 3D properties in your like website, there's a video I've made which like does stuff like this. So let's go into style. Let's just make it black and I'll just add the container inside of this one. Uh, let's make this full width. Just no, it doesn't matter what uh, method you use or what size you use. And once you have done everything that you want, we will go into our advanced, go into our custom CSS and we just copied this clip path right so all we simply do is we type selector so that it is selecting this one and then just paste it inside of this now you could see that it is working so if i go in here you could see that it is working so we just added this design let me choose like a better looking color okay so stuff like this and you could see that it gets like harder to click around that container because uh, this stuff so this icon is like getting hidden by the clip path so make sure you are using navigator which is like this to select it and once you have done this i'll simply add my text and you could see what would happen as soon as i add my text it is not being visible so obviously it is dependent on your design so that your text is being visible for example here you could see that in this one i created the text and then i added like a custom size so that it is not like full width and then i just make it smaller i don't know why there's horns again outside my house so basically just reminder that you will need to work with the design so that it is like placed perfectly so i'll keep it in center looks good to me stuff like this okay now we did add uh, our container like this but now we want to add let me just call this something like clip so uh, now we want to add a border now this is where uh, things get a bit trickier so right now i'll do is so let's just ignore this one uh, and what we are going to do is i'll add this code in my description and basically we are using pseudo classes which is like before and after it's like creating like a new element after your container or before your container which just works on top of this container so basically we use selector after uh, all after and before pseudo class requires content like this then we add position absolute 
like this so let me just do it manually around here so that you guys could see it as it happens so i'll add content then we add our quotation marks like this now if i type something like red you could see it just pops up like blue stuff around here but we'll keep it empty then i'm going to do is i'm going to add a background color red obviously it's not going to visible because the text is empty you could see then i'm going to make the height be 100 percent width be 100 percent and still it's not going to be visible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use position absolute so that it gets placed on top of it we will do left zero and then top zero so that it is like nicely aligned like this so you can see that it is showing the clip path is showing on top of it sorry the after class is showing on top of it like this so the first method that i've used around here is like very easy so if you go around here you could see that so what i've done is basically in this one i've said that do minus 20 pixels from like the total size so basically what i've done is i've added calculate take the 100 percent of the size and do minus 20 pixels from height and width like this so if i copy this one and paste you could see that it does not work for this one at all okay and maybe i'll also add this stuff because then it will be centered perfectly like this so because i instead of using left zero and top zero we will add this stuff and it basically makes it this after uh, design we it just places it in the center now you could see what exactly is happening it is not working perfectly because it just doesn't work with all of these shapes it did work for this one you could see that i'm using the same code but it doesn't work for this one and it doesn't work for this one so what we can do is if i go into my clip again instead of using this one we are going to use 100 percent like this we are simply just going to use 100 percent so let me just copy this in here instead 100% and then 100% now here's what I want you guys to understand so okay so this is just a bit explanation what we are doing so it's not much complicated but basically uh, let's say if I add my container so basically our containers are always in rectangle shape okay even if it's a square it's still a rectangle because a rectangle is basically a square is a basically a rectangle also it's just with equal sides and uh, height so let's say no matter what size of container you make this is let's say this is how our container looks okay by default it is always rectangle you know we always create like rectangle containers no matter what happens like this so in this one uh this is our x x coordinate sorry x line so x y plane basically so this is x and this is our y so this is like normal maths in school that we learned this coordinate is always going to be zero zero like this because x is zero and y is zero at this point and wherever your container ends around here it will be 100 so right now you can see that we are on x line so obviously our x would be 100 and our y would be zero this is basically uh, what we have done around here so if you go around your clip path that is basically what we have done but before we go into in depth i'll explain you what we are doing so basically zero zero hundred zero then we go on our y axis and our x is zero because we are not going in this direction we are basically saying the we are basically checking the location of this point or coordinates basically so wherever we end this coordinate this point okay so our x is zero but our y is 100 like this and this one is basically 100 100 like this okay and we are talking in percentage okay so percentage so this is like 100 percent and this is also or this is this is 100 percent like this so you can see zero zero percent 100 x's are 100 percent this call it uh, this point this point location is 100 100 and this one is zero zero so when we create a clip paths we are basically saying that uh we are basically taking like different points in our system like this so we are saying a point around here a point around here uh we just like join this join this like this then we create like random points stuff like this and whatever is inside those point should be visible and anything outside those 
should be invisible so that's how we make clip paths right so what we can basically do is you know when we use our containers so for example in this one okay which is this one i've used like this this uh where did it go let's see this message clip path around here you could see clip path polygon i just copied that and basically you can see that if you go around here it this is how it is going to look in this uh in this design okay so what we can basically do is instead of uh, making minus 20 pixels from all side we can just create another container which is a bit inside or, or basically create a clip path which is a bit inside of it so if you don't understand don't worry you will just understand now so i just created a duplicate on top of it let me make it like gray so this is basically what we are doing so rather than uh, using the points at the top we are making the points be in a bit and uh, inside like this so we are basically creating extra clip inside of this like this don't worry if you don't understand it it's you will understand it like normally if you just try it a bit because it also took me a bit to understand but it was just like normal stuff so here you could see that all i simply did was rather than creating like a smaller uh what you call smaller design so basically if i let's say remove this and let's say if we go in here let me just place it around here if i let's say duplicate this one and then let me just copy so rather than just you know making it smaller like this you could say it does not work right because we are making it smaller from the center but it is not working because this one is getting bigger and that one what we are basically doing is we are creating another one another clip path inside of this and just moving the points a bit inside so all these points you can see we are just moving it a bit inside so we are creating another clip path which is like a bit smaller than uh bit, it is clipping extra parts inside of that container so if you don't understand let's just look around here so if i copy this clip path again you can see instead of using that one we will create another clip path inside of this and here we will just make the points go a bit inside so we want this point so you just so this is how the point system goes in this one okay so here you could see that in our clip path we have two points always right so x y x y x y x y x y so basically we have five points and we are basically playing con connect the points like this so we are basically connecting one two three four five points and then just creating uh, this shape okay so what we can simply do is we can go to our second point inside of this and then make this go a bit lower and to go lower it is remember when we looked around this shape to go lower we have to go in y axis on x uh, on closer to 100 so here let's see our second is 31 0 right so how about we just make it like three percent so you could see as soon as i make it like three percent let's do two percent okay i just added this point a bit below and again i don't know a better way to do it but i just simply eyeball it as of now okay now we have x y again for the third point so i just want my x to be on the left side so we can simply just reduce it 98 like this and now i want want it to be below so when we want to go below we just add like this you could see now the fourth so also i forgot to uh, show you that this this is where we start from so one two three four five so it always goes in clockwise direction from this point so this would be like first second third fourth fifth like this so first second third then our fourth one so fourth one is first second third fourth so this one okay so now this one i know i want it to be a bit above so we can just reduce the y value to like 98 like this or maybe 99 and make it go on the left side a bit so 95 94 maybe we go 98 you could also try like point okay so if you're feeling like two different so i can go like 98.5 now this point we just want it to be a bit on top like this and a bit on right side so to go on the right side our x should be higher than zero so let's do two 
maybe three two is okay and then y should be a bit above so to go above we go 85 like this at this point we forgot to do it which is the first point so the first point i'll make it go from to the right side so let's just go like two percent and then maybe maybe we move this one a bit or again it just comes down to like how it looks so for me i want it to be a bit on the right i assume i'm not sure so let's just play around with it let's try three uh not there so i need to move the x one okay not that so 32 okay so you could see that 32 or 31 so it just comes down to like how or what you prefer so i use 32 so basically you can see that we have created two polygons like this so if i do opacity zero you could see our this color this one which has like five points so one two three four five and then if i add opacity well we cannot add it there so let's do this and here you could see i added five points so one two three four five but instead what i did was the second uh polygon or the second clip path i just added the points to be or clip it to like be inside much more so we are basically just taking like second uh, containers point and then making making it go like inside like this like this so that the outer container just shines and looks like a border and this also allows you to like create some crazy stuff like you could create gradients like this you can see you could create gradients you could also add like animated background to this one and it would still work and look nicer and everything else again if you now add your let's say a heading it is not visible right see our heading is not visible so just make and add some z, z index like two three five just anything extra than zero and then it would still work like this and i've done the same stuff around here so if i go into my third container you could see that if i go into my advanced copy this custom css you could see that i've again played with the values around here to go uh, it or to put it in a much inside a container and i added a background around here same with this one and this one is the easier method but uh, it doesn't work always and it is also this to work like nicer for responsiveness also so yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe and everything else and yeah